me ask you, do you chronically feel the impulse to pull your eyelashes, eyebrows, hair, or even body hair? This is known as trichotillomania. If you want to stop hair plucking or feeling the need to pull your eyelashes or any other hair on your body, there is help. So what is trichotillomania? Do you habitually and compulsively pull your eyelashes, eyebrows, head hair, or body hair? Is your habit resulting in a noticeable loss of hair, resulting in shame and embarrassment on your part? Do you suffer from anxiety, avoid social situations and intimate relationships? You're not alone. It is estimated that between 0.6% and 4% of the overall population suffer from trichotillomania. While it can begin in infancy, trich commonly starts between the ages of 19 and 13, of 9 to 13. It seems to affect more women than men. Some people are forced to wear hats, scarves, wigs, false eyelashes, or draw in their eyebrows in an effort to conceal this habit and to avoid unwanted negative attention from others. You don't have to suffer in silence. Hypnosis is a proven treatment. What causes hair plucking or eyelash pulling? It is a compulsive habit, often triggered by stress, boredom, or anxiety. It is classified as an obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, and develops into an automatic behavior or automatic habit that you seem to have no control over. Overpulling causes people a great deal of embarrassment, discomfort, and distress. The cause of trichotillomania is not yet known. The origins of OCD and trichotillomania are both still unknown, but we do know that stress or anxiety makes it worse. Trichotillomania, often called trick for short, can cause terrible feelings of shame and guilt, which trigger more pulling and plucking of the hair. So what if you have a hair pulling disorder? First of all, a hair pulling disorder is not mental illness. Researchers think it could cause a chemical imbalance in the brain, but they aren't exactly sure. A chemical imbalance does not equal a mental disorder either. Our medical society loves to label things, especially things they don't understand. There is nothing wrong with having a mental disorder. I just don't like to see people feeling that they have a stigma that they have to deal with on top of trying to cope with hair pulling. You are a normal, healthy person with a bad habit. Many people struggle to find a doctor or professional who understands trichotillomania. Doctors treat it like it's all in your head and even give you antidepressant medications that usually do not work. With that, many people have found success with body, uh, behavior modification therapies. Hair pulling becomes addiction and it does feel good to pull out hairs. It becomes routine that you're often unaware of. This is where behavior modification with hypnosis can really help. Some natural remedies for treatment of trichotillomania or TTM. There are natural trichotillomania treatments that you can try at home. Many people have found that these remedies are gentle on their bodies and ease the urge to pull. These therapies combined with hypnosis often produce positive results to give quick relief. Disclaimer required by law. Consult your hair health care professional before trying any of these to see if they are right for you. There is a theory that TTM is caused by an overgrowth of fungus in the body or in the hair follicles. Apple cider vinegar, NAC supplement, and castor oil kills fungus. Apple cider vinegar. 
ACV is known to attack and kill fungus. It is a natural detoxifier that resolves any underlying issues that can contribute to hair pulling. Drink ta two tablespoons of ACV mixed with water and a little raw honey each day. You can also rinse your hair in diluted ACV after shampooing. Diluted ACV can be used as a facial toner. In diluted form, it cannot hurt your eyes if you get, into, if you get it into your eyes, but it will sting. Rinse your eyes with water, but don't worry that you've done damage to your eyes. NAC, N-acetylcysteine, is a supplement. If you take it at 1,200 to 2,400 milligrams a day, it has shown positive results in many people. Some people report temporary benefit, while others report that it keeps the habit at bay. NAC is known to kill fungus, candida, and even break apart the biofilms that they hide in. In a study that, that used by the Psychiatric Institute Chicotillomania scale and the Massachusetts General Hospital hair pulling scale, 50 people were tested to see if NAC made a difference in the disorder. Half of the patients were given the 1,200 to 2,400 milligrams a day for 12 weeks. The other half received a placebo. 56% of the NAC group reported improvement, while only 16% of the placebo group felt any improvement. Castor oil. Rub castor oil around your eyes, lashes, eyebrows, and even on your scalp. A little goes a long way. Like ACV, if you get castor oil in your eyes, it will not harm your eyes. Castor oil helps to reduce inflammation and also kills fungus that may be taking up residence in your hair follicle. Now, how to help your hair and eyebrows grow back. This takes patience. Oftentimes, repeated hair pulling causes damage and inflammation to a hair follicle, and hair does not grow back in that area without some work. Serum. You can apply an eyelash growth serum like Revitalash or Latisse. From research, these two look like the best on the market. Apply these according to directions. Six hours from the time you apply your lash serum to your brows or lashes, apply Vaseline. Some people don't like the petroleum in Vaseline, but it has a specific function needed in the fat layer where the follicles reside. Don't give up hope. Don't pull or pluck at all, even wayward hairs during this time. It could be six months or more before you start to see some growth. Hair treatment. With the hair on your head, I recommend Edgar Casey's crude oil treatment. It's a little gross, but it has worked for many, many people to regrow their hair when all seemed lost. This is a three-part system that includes crude oil hair treatment that you use every four to six weeks, daily Vaseline treatments, scalp massage, and an oral supplement that is all natural and supports hair growth. Hypnotherapy for hair pulling works. Just as with the Lash Growth Serum, it may t take six to eight months before you see hair growth, but stay with it. Your hair follicles can heal and produce healthy hairs once again. Make sure that you have control over hair or eyelash pulling before you start the regrowing process. Let me help you. Even if you do not live in the LA, Calabasas, or the San Fernando Valley region outside of Los Angeles, I can work with you through video conference such as Skype. Your privacy is assured and respected. I can also work over the phone for my shy clients or my clients who live far away. Let me help you replace your hair pulling with a healthier habit that will also bring you some joy and peace. Why does TTM hypnotherapy work? Hypnotherapy is very effective for behavior modification. Stress and anxiety responds well to hypnosis. Hypnosis helps you make lifestyle changes that reduce your overall stress. 
and can lead to a happier and more peaceful life. Hypnotherapy allows you to have conscious and instant control over your responses, conscious and unconscious or automatic responses, such as hair pulling. My unique hypnosis sessions allow you to uncover and easily resolve underlying issues that may be related. Using hypnotherapy for the treatment of trichotillomania is a rapid, effective way to stop the habit of pulling hair. This is Susan French. Please contact me for a free consultation and find out what I can do to help you. I look forward to helping you achieve freedom from your hair pulling. Book that free consultation today. Talk to you soon, I hope.